Welcome to Junior High Hot Pops. Whoa. Wow, bro. Who the fuck do you think you are? One, two, three. One, like, two, one, two, three. Welcome to Junior High Hot Box thirty-seven Thir- episode thirty-seven. We just went over this. I almost said forty-seven. Hey. I'm Eddie. I'm joined by Ryan and the real Slim Shady. Yeah. <laughs> now you know who he looks like, and you're gonna hate me. For get get you're him like Jonah Hill get from Twenty One. Jonah Street. Hill from Twenty One Jump Street in the, the in the fucking does. jokes out of he the does. way. Right? He, does. he does. Yeah. Uh, he does. Just that one scene, dude. In that movie, he's <laughs> a little braces. In that yeah. movie, he literally is a little bitch with braces, <laughs> and his fucking vibe. This is his vibe. <laughs> That's what I exude to you guys. No. Just, just, the, just, just the hair. Just the hair. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else. But yeah. Anything else? That's so I have a follow up question. Oh my god! Is that the only thing you bleached? No, my asshole too. Oh wow! Oh, fire, dude. Yeah. It's how been long, a while though. How long it take? Not the asshole, the 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 hair. Because I've ass, always wanted the asshole is quick. <laughs> Two minutes tops. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the hair, the hair took about an hour. Oh, okay. Nice. That would be longer than that. It is weird when there's like bleach on your head and it's burning, and you're like, "This can't be good for my scalp." Yeah, probably not. Think about what you're doing. It's not your right. Hair. No, it's terrible for your hair. No, I can't imagine the burning of bleach on your scalp is good. Look for up if bleach is terrible. Bro, for you your hair. Done it, it is very you much. Should, is. You don't Trust need to me. look it up. Yeah. You should have done it on your beard and shit, dude. No, <laughs> yeah, you should have no, done, you should done the opposite. Beard, bleach, hair. No. Yeah, <laughs> bleached beard. I, I bleached my hair many times. Trust me, it's not good. For you. Yeah, so if I bleached my beard, that would look dumb as fuck. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, you are in. How do I say? You're an RNG magnet because after you were talking about your thing with the elliptical, I had water intrusion in my house. No way. And they had to take apart my entire living room. Was it coming through the ceiling or was it through? Yeah. So do you know how next motherfucker? You know how we had that? That's what, dude, watch yourself. You know how we had that week or two where it was like, a bunch of rain and it was sick because we never get rain. Yeah. Um. The way that that my place is, it's on like the corner of the building. So, and they just did roof repair. They must have fucked up because it yeah, went there's through. There's like a hole somewhere. And okay, the yeah. only way we found out, Maddie was working out doing like the the Wii Fit thing, like she's doing yoga or something. She's like, "What's that?" And there was a blot on the top, and it went all the way down, and it was cracking, mm. and Fuck. it was. It sucks. Hit the landlord and stuff, and then they were like, "Fuck." Yeah, well, they were like, "Oh no, it's fine." Like they'll yeah. probably just have to go outside. And I was like, "No, I worked in property management. I know there's mold in that shit. I know you got to take it apart. Yeah, just breathe in the mold. You're fine." Yeah, you know, just a little bit of cans, just a little bit. Uh, yeah. And then the vendor came in, and I was like, "Yo, you got to take this apart, don't you?" And he's like, "Yeah, I do." So, so they had to like rip open your ceiling and walls. And they shit. ripped over the living room. They ripped over the ceiling. Um. And I was working from home, so it was like fuck my day. That sucks. Yeah. I've had people working above the the townhouse above me. Carolyn's like people, old place, Rip. Yeah, they they've been like doing a bunch of renov- renovations. It's annoying. As it fun. was got a badge. So uh, this RNG, you can have it back. I don't want it. For anyone who doesn't know, RNG is a video game term. Stands for random number game, doesn't it? Nope, random number generator. A it basically just generator. means randomness. Yeah, yeah. I was literally about to ask what. So like yeah. when you're in Mario Kart. And somebody randomly gets the blue shell and fucks your asshole when you're in first place. No, no, that's RNG. It, yeah, it's more like it's more like, what's that game you're playing? Dark and darker or whatever. Oh, fire. You know how when you play it, like the things drop loot. Yeah, it's just when RNG. when you yeah. when it's dropping loot, the mechanic in the game is an RNG. Yeah, so if you and get then a really it rolls the dice and it tells you like the probability of you getting the... Yeah, if you get a really good yeah. item, that means you got good yeah. RNG. But I yeah. get you with Mario Kart. Like, you hit the dice, and then that's the RNG. And then... Yeah. Well, that's not really RNG, because when you're in last place, you just get blue shells after blue yeah, shells yeah, after true, blue shells after blue shells after blue shells. We're fucking gamers, all right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I've had better days, so there's that. Um, <laughs> Rihanna yeah. killed it. That shit was fire. For I'll, being, I'll do a little hot take. Yeah, you do it. You oh did. God! For being pregnant, I didn't think she was. She did all right. It was boring as fuck. I thought it, she it, murdered it. She dude. sounded great. Yeah, she sounded pretty good. But other than that, she just kind of standing still. But I get it. She was pregnant, which I also find crazy because didn't she just have her baby like a few months ago or something? Rocky, she was, was also quick. Dude. Yeah, ninety <laughs> yards in the air. Did you see the meme? 
where her platform lifts up and it starts it's like the start of a Smash Bros. Yeah, I retweeted it <laughs> yeah. before we got so good. <laughs> Chris, Three, Chris two. Lee on his podcast was talking about it. He's like, he's like, my wife's eight months pregnant or whatever, and he's like, oh, can you go, can you go get me a glass of water? He's like, oh, I'm eight months pregnant. Can you go do this for me? He's like, next time my wife who's eight months pregnant asks me to do anything, I'm gonna go Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> but Rihanna, that's <laughs> pretty good. For some that reason, good. after that whole controversy, I just and even though he was, he explained himself, I, can't, I haven't watched Chris D'Elia since. I just I still follow him on Instagram, so I see his clips. Mm-hmm. I don't really I, I'll listen to his podcast every now and then, but yeah. I his, just will mainly listen to his clips. His podcast so. with his brother Lifeline is yeah, it's, really it's, good. It's actually it's really funny. funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, fuck uh, Chris D'Elia. Hmm? Damn. Okay. Damn. All right. So you just thought it was boring or what? Like that? That's it. It was just huh? It was just boring. The Super Bowl performance. Yeah. The Super Bowl performance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That shit was boring as shit, dude. Normally yeah. it's like this. Ex- I mean, and obviously I didn't, I don't give a fuck. I didn't watch the game. I just watched that one part. You, you know what though? You did watch the game because we were all in discord. And- no, I had it on my second monitor. And I was playing. Fall so Guys. you were dude. watching it. He did have it. On no, I, I, I swear to God, I watched the last 10 minutes of the game and that was it. Yeah. Otherwise, I was just doing shit. It was so funny when they, when they went to go kick the last field goal. Sam was like, please. And he just was like, I please miss this. And please, I would love it. He just was like, they got to miss this right now. Like That's pretty funny. <laughs> I made a life changing decision. About what? We already talked about your hair. No, I sold my car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. I had a 2017 Mazda 3. A uh, great car for the first couple of years, and then when I started working from home, I just wasn't really driving that much. Wait, <laughs> weren't you saying last episode you were going to take it in? That was like two episodes ago. <laughs> Do I expose myself? <laughs> what? I can't get in trouble for this, right? What? No. I don't, uh, what? <laughs> what? What? Let's just he say was talking about how he turned on the let's car. Let's just say I all went the lights to, would go on, and now he sold it. <laughs> <laughs> let's just say <laughs> what? It's just so funny. I'm sorry. I, I right. vaguely remember this. Let's oh just say God. I bef- I had gone to get an oil change, and they may have mentioned some other things that maybe have needed to be fixed. <laughs> And then I may or may not have gone to CarMax the day after. And just sold it. And just sold it. Not worried about it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, What's CarMax's problem? And verbatim, you said, just sell it how it is. I'm pretty sure you did. No way. I'm pr- we got to Well, dude, here's the thing. Yeah, no, I did. Do, I did say I'm that. not driving a lot because I'm working at home. When I do drive, I prefer to drive Samantha's car because it's just a better car. Or you just roller skate. Or I just roller skate. Dude. Imagine. No troll. I thought you did. No. Oh. Because I have hockey wheels and they don't work well on the concrete. Oh, got you. But okay. dude, it sucks when you have like all those lights that come on. Like I went to get an oil change um like a couple weeks ago and my check engine light was on. And I was like, hey, why is it they they were like, Do you know why the check engine light's on? I go, No, probably because it needs an oil change. And then they were looking there and like, Oh yeah, well, you also need like this with your transmission. You need this, you need that. I'm like, fuck. There goes like three hundred dollars just Mm, well, what, I, what the the good part is, I got this car in 2017. Okay, what was your net? Like what he paid for it? Let's no, just like say what, no, gained what he, from selling. What did he it? get? Oh. Let's just say in five years, I only lost a thousand dollars. No, wow. way. no way. <laughs> yeah, but then again, then again, though, right now cars are so expensive. It's right a now, hot car. Yeah, yeah it dude. was the perfect the, time dude, though because yeah. I, when I I'm not driving. So it's literally having issues from sitting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the battery will fucking get fucked because it's just oh, I'm yeah, not man. driving it. Oh, yeah. And so I'm like, I need to just cash out now before it's not worth shit. One guy's yeah. decent, Sam. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's dude, good. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. With That's all sweet. the issues it had. Basically, I spent $1,000 to drive for five years. So, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, pretty yeah, if, we, yeah. if, if we three theory craft this, if you kept it, you likely would have paid more than the grand difference. Oh, 100%. You probably pay like four. You would have ended up having to drop money on it to fix it. Yeah, that's it. what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so are you in the market to get a new car? Or you're just kind of winging it right now because I know you car. work from home. No, nah, I'm just winging it right now. Yeah. Well, but is there any part of you that's like, I should probably get a new car at some point soon? If I end up needing a car, I'll get a car. Word. It kind of will hit you. It'll be like one of those. They were like, "Fuck! I wish I could just go and." 
do X, Y, and Z. But for now, it's like because also I don't have to go into the office. Like I go like a couple times a year, maybe. Yeah, you're chill. And so on those days where, or like if I have a doctor's appointment or whatever, if I have some something to do, and Samantha has to like go to work, like I'll just you're I could just, just drop her off. Yeah. Or you can just fucking Uber if really push comes to shove. Like yeah. honestly, yeah. Like, I mean, consistently Ubering is not a smart thing but yeah. ubering not, three times a year to go to the office is really not isn't terrible not bad. it's not bad yeah, at all it's not terrible at all yeah. yeah just get an uber block dude show up in like some fucking <laughs> dope ass car <laughs> like you know just when you get dropped off you just be like thank you when i go up to the hr i'm like expense this shit yeah right dude yeah you could probably write it off on your taxes low-key mm-hmm. 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 yeah but uh anyways dude so i was a. Uh, on this construction site that I've been on, that like fucking fat house I was telling you about. Yeah. Saw this fucking fat this fucking house. Dude. The one with the servers and shit. Dude, yeah. Jeez. Fucking shit's crazy. Yeah. Uh I, I so I remember how we were kind of talking about for like a split second about like oh like how you were like, oh I like couldn't do construction or some shit like that or whatever. I don't know. I like randomly kept Oh thinking. Sam, yeah. There's like so there's two th- there's two <laughs> things here. So one, I saw this dude were like Bro, he would be, he would be you if you were a construction worker. Not this, okay. not in the sense of what he like looks like or anything. Uh-huh. Or like it's just like his vibe. Okay. Like, fool. He so he's a framer. So he like frames the house. He's like dropping like frames. I don't give a fuck, dude. No. Like, oh. Fool wears sunglasses all day, even inside on the job site. Real. <laughs> yeah. Real. Fool wears <laughs> sweatpants every fucking day to the job site. Isn't that hazardous? He doesn't give a fuck. Oh. He wears sweatpants every day to the job site. Just like, <laughs> what's more hazardous? Potential b- le- electric burns or living your life? Yeah, straight up. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. And then, like, he just wear, and then he just wears like his fucking like sneakers and shit. Like, I mean, he wears sandals a lot, but like, I just like he he doesn't wear work boots. He's like a, he's like an older white dude. He's got like you know like those New Balance Dad Elevens uh, or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm not saying you would wear those, but I feel like. Uh, it's just the sweatpants and the sunglasses and those shoes and just his vibe. I'm like, this is Sam. If I'm getting to the age where if I had to wear New Balance 11s, dad shoes, fuck it. Fuck it. They look yeah, comfy dude. as fuck. Does he run shit? This uh, electric Sam? Uh, He's a framer. Electric Sam. No, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a framer. So he like, you know, frames out the house, like as far as like, you know, building walls or building any structural. That's for shit. sure what I would do. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it just seems like, yeah, he just. So he's basically like doing like, I'm an idiot. So mm. he's just doing this. And he's like, you go. Wait, what? What? I'm, that's me drawing a frame. I don't know. No, not, yeah, I he's just doing this. No, not like window <laughs> frames. When I say framing, like the frame of the fucking house, like the frame of hey. like he like he would build walls and shit. Like before the drywalls up, like he built like the walls or like oh, so he's building the house. Like he's building the house. That's what framers are. They like yeah, I wouldn't do that shit. That's right. a whack ass title. You should be fucking called builder. <laughs> just builder. Builder yeah. X. Yeah. Build, the electrician, yeah. and we got the builder. I mean, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of what they're... The I mean, Fortnite builder. Yeah. No, they, like, they frame out the house. Probably crack. But anyways, so there's that. And then I was thinking, I was like, well, then I started thinking, I was like, what trade would each of you guys go into? And I just mm. started thinking about it. For some reason... If we all went to trade school? Plumber. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I, do see it. I, li- I, yeah. I could see it, too. I don't know. I just, just plumber. Just, you know, just... Let's fucking, go. Running, well, what's up? He's a plumber. Yeah, you, carpenter maybe. Eddie's a good name for a plumber. Hey, we need to call Eddie the plumber. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should become a plumber. Yeah, Eddie. yeah, plumber. I clean your shit. Carpenter. I think carpenter even maybe for you too. I really? could see Billy as a carpenter. Wait, what does a carpenter do? They build like uh, flooring and no, and there's not. There's not flooring. It's like more or less. <laughs> there's like nothing to do with what, stuff with what requires the least amount of effort. Carpenter probably they just no, build dude. Wood. Carpenters, fuck, you got to be That's precise. That's rough, bro. Th- That's so like geometry. Okay, so yeah, a lot of oh uh, yeah, a lot of math, yeah. a lot fuck of geometry that, and shit like no, that. Yeah. So like, okay, so you know, uh, like at your fucking mom's place, you go into the kitchen and there's all those like cabinets hanging mm. on the walls and shit like that. They like build those out to the measurements yeah. and like, but they like to the, the tea. But then they literally buy the wood. Build those fucking cabinets yeah. and then install those fucking. And cabinets. it's not like I'm you not can. Doing that shit. It's not like you can willy nilly sketch it. Like they have to be precise. Yeah, yeah. Their shit's. Because if yeah. you go buy the shit and they go help your mom stuff and it's wrong, yeah, they lose them at the fucking go. A lot of shit like over. that. Or like, you know what it, I would do? What? I would change carpets. 
Yeah. So you'd be like a nice floor guy. Flooring. Like floor guy. Interior design. Flooring. Fucking yeah. Sammy Steamer over here. Okay. Sammy Steamer. Oh my God. Yeah, I see. We're you. starting your company. Let's go. Sammy yeah. Steamer. Yeah. But anyways. All right, what would you be? I watched And you can't say electrician. If I wasn't an electrician. Yeah, if you were an electrician. What would we what think he would be? I don't know. Yeah, what do you, what do you, I mean, you guys don't even know any trades. You Pole polish. Carpenter had something to do with the floors and it doesn't. I know, I'm a fucking dumbass. I think Ryan would be a pole polisher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think that's a trade, but word. I meant he would suck dick. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's not a pole, that's what he means. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, but okay. Yeah. Plumber, really? I don't know why. You I just... thought, I I'd think I'd be the carpenter because I'm the one that's like decent at math. Yeah, true. I like dealing with shit, though. I mean, why do we need to be have handymen and women when we can just automate everything with AI? Straight up. Oh, that's my transition. I had wanted to talk about. Here's a natural pivot. Yep. Is there anything you want to add to that? Yeah. Is it ChatGPT? That's part of it. Chat, ah, chat bro. GPT. Chat, dude, chat that shit's GPT wild. is insane. We should try. We should do one. I have a free right account, now. dude. It's I have a free so account. I have it too, yeah. And I play with it. Um. I don't want to steal you. Go ahead. You you first. Basically, if you haven't heard, well, in general, there, lately I've seen a lot of like AI shit, like yeah. that's been used to automate things. The most popular that I've seen is Ch- is Chat GPT. It's like the biggest or thing the right or now. the artwork shit or the, well yeah everyone that, knows that Dolly was for like, a while. Yeah. Yeah. Dolly was for. But a while. I've even seen shit that's crazier than Dolly for art. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But yeah. basically, Chat GPT, you type. There's a little text bar. You type in something like, hey, do this, and this fucking AI yeah. some, writes some out anything some for you. Some context. So this, li- this company called OpenAI, they developed a chat bot, and you basically make an, a, a free account or a premium account, and like you said. You type it in. Um, also, too, real quick, just a quick side note. OpenAI, it's not – there's no, like, big – the, like company or whatever that owns it but right now they're for nobody that owns it not technically having any like money to really into it it's like estimated value is like upwards of like 42 billion dollars it's a little suspect though because from what i know uh so i know someone who works in tech and they also own a wine business mm-hmm. and he has a, a premium account and he was typing shit in and he, he he, like for like a like a like a wine logo, like yeah. just for fun, and it ended up giving him like a really fire logo compared to what he had today. Uh. I'm pretty sure that the engineers like put something into it that could also be out of date because he was asking he was asking another question like it was something like um um what's the best place to work today in tech. And it suggested Salesforce, but Chat GPT responded with based on my findings from 2018. Mm. So I'm pretty sure that there's like two sides. Like it, it, it suggests all the stuff, but also the engineers who develop it are putting stuff in based on the past. So I want to give a little could context. Be a little suspect. I want to give a little context as to like what it does, though. Yeah. Like, for example, you could type. Hey, Anything. write write me a cover letter write for me a this thesis paper. for this job yep. yeah. with these qualifications in this industry. Yep, yep, yep. And, it'll and it writes a personalized cover letter for you, and you dude, can, yeah, you can fucking. Uh, I saw uh, Cody and Noel, uh, Cody Co and Noel Miller on their podcast. What they did is the subreddit uh, uh, relationship. Uh, it's it's called like. Uh, Slash relationships, something like that, or or yeah, something, like, and it's people put in like what or ask what they should do about, about some relationship, mm-hmm. and they just copied and pasted one of the questions, and, and then they put it in, and then ChatGPT gave a whole answer to like what this person should do in that situation. Buy and, like, some roses. I was yeah. talking to Goofy, and he said he 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 takes his YouTube titles, and he goes, make this quote his YouTube title a better YouTube title for this type of video to engage with this type of people like and it and it did it yeah. and it was like way better yeah like, bro it do, it's so fucking crazy i could literally be like write a song about this for me like and i like i write with like two if you can be descriptive like i need three choruses i need you know i need three verses and i need like a bridge into the last chorus and it'll fucking just write that's crazy. it'll but fucking write, do that shit for here's you here's the sketchy thing though which i'm which is what i'm trying to say if if you do that 
and then it pulls something from like what the engineers yeah. put in. What if that's tied to someone else's work? Yeah, because what that's the um Dolly Dolly takes art from other like historic art and just makes it ch- turns mm. it like shit. So like I think they those still I don't I, and I don't know. There's uh, a sketchy component. I think there. though that there's I think though that there is some sort of component into it that makes it so it won't put out any sort of like copyrighted shit like every because it's like yeah. everything I'm curious everything about it that. puts out has to be able to be used and not be here's copyrighted. here's a question though what if there's two people who are like who they type in the same prompt like hey I want this title for a Valorant vi- or this script like you could write write me a script for me to say in yep. this video yep. so what if like two people type the same thing and then they put it out as their own bodies of work. Turns the same thing, right? What I think is, is that I think you give it ac- the site access to your cookies so it can, it'll can uh, it be able to use your information that you're giving it from your computer. Uh, it'll give it'll still be able to give like different prompts based off of the information it's learning from your cookies. Mm. Does that make sense? Like if yeah. I type into Google on my PC some question and you type it on your PC, the same sort of, it's literally the same question, we'll both get similar but different results because it are because google already has what like the shit like especially with political shit that's like been a big thing is with political stuff if i type in something about like oh abortion laws and th- mm. articles on that whatever whatever you know i'm obviously well, i'm for abortion and stuff like that but <clears> if <throat> somebody that's like very against abortion on their computer types in mm. the same exact thing that I type in, it's gonna the first article it's gonna throw at them is gonna be all sorts of anti abortion stuff and more mm. right sided views than it would for me. Like our searches would be completely different in that sense because it has access to our cookie. So I think it's the same sort of thing with Chat GPT and all the AI stuff is it has we'll, that we'll access. have to figure that out. Well dude, not only Chat GPT I've seen a bunch of other crazy shit. Like same here. Uh, have you seen the fake podcast that people yes, are making for, bro, for celebrities? The fakes, bro. And then have the, you seen this? That I think you will trip nah. the fuck out. That of shit's wild. Dude. Like it looks like Rogan. Oh right? yes, they do Rogan. I have seen that. Someone did that with Ben Shapiro too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, and, uh, yeah. And, with and, Halo. And dude, and yeah, no. And, I but, saw Joe bro, Ro- Joe Biden me. playing uh, Elden Ring. Dude, wait. What about <laughs> oh the one? God, what about dude. the one with uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump talking about like moshing? Yeah, dude, that one is fucking hilarious. What's, it's hilarious, but what's scary? That's about, all AI. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. And what's scary about? Obviously. What's scary <laughs> about, I thought it was. I thought it was like someone doing like an impression and that's then just all, putting no, it over a that's video. That's all AI, bro. Oh no, fucking way. That's all, all AI. AI dude. Wow. Holy shit. We're fucked. The dude, Matrix so, was so, a documentary. So like they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, for real. So there's yeah. gonna be like like so you know, you know Coffeezilla is on YouTube. I've heard of. Yeah. He, he like he like exposes like scams and stuff through crypto. Oh yes. Or like yeah that guy with the fucking. Yes. The, the, yeah, him. Yeah. He, uh, I follow him on Twitter and he was just like, he would like put out this whole thing. He's like, bro, deep fake scams are about to be like the new wave. Yep. And he put out this thing and it was like Joe Rogan. Ta- it was an AI thing of Joe Rogan talking about some product or whatever. And it was, and it looked like it was oh, him. It literally, and it looked like it was yeah. Joe Rogan on his podcast promoting something. He's like, you got to go to Amazon. You got to, you just type this in. That's it's right fun. here. Oh, no. And so it's like, People are gonna see that and be like, "Oh shit, oh. Joe Rogan's promoting this product. So I should people go are gonna go and buy it." Yeah. Oh shit. Deep fake scams. That's I mean, personally, if I saw Joe bad. Rogan promoting a, a product, I'm not buying that shit. I'm, not, I'm, but you know I'm how thinking many about buying would, Athletic though? Greens, though. I but will. You say think that. about how many fucking other people would buy yeah, a product? The people that, he, that don't follow him and see that this one video is just blowing up. That's not no, nah, but he. Him. But also, like, a lot of his followers are the type of people that'll be like well if rogan does it i should too yeah yeah sure. like a cult well, exactly <laughs> but like, but, like well, let's think, but you can do it with any any famous yeah, person yeah. like who's your- i saw i saw one it was drake talking about being in the studio with 21 savage and it was a, a ai drake and he's like i love going to the studio with 21 savage when we were pillow fighting before the studio <laughs> it's just great like oh my gosh. <laughs> dude did you see the, the ai one of drake rapping about like beans no. Dude. No. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It's god. the funniest fucking thing ever, dude. Is it we'll fire? play it on the we'll play it on the podcast right now for two seconds. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not gonna play it in this bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna play in this bit where we say that's fire. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. 
<laughs> that was insane. Yo, just got a fire. Bro. That shit is awful. Dude. <laughs> it fucking sounds like it. It's it sounds funny. like Drake it's though, yo. I thought we talked about this two weeks ago, but what? Yeah, what's this? this sh- there was this streamer. His name's Atrioc. I don't really watch him, but I never. Sorry, I've never watched him, but he's friends with Ludwig, so I've seen him a little bit. Okay, but he was streaming one day, and he accidentally showed his second monitor. And what was on his second monitor... Can I guess? Yeah. Do you want to guess? Uh, feet pics. Worse. What? There was AI deep fake porn mm. of other, other streamers. streamers. Oh. Yeah, like... Um, Not just other streamers. Like other really streamers that he ones. is... Like friends with. Friends with. Yeah, I've heard about this guy. Didn't what? he? It wasn't it like was like one of them and like. Uh, I don't think we need them to name the names because then people are just gonna search it. Because then bleep it out then. Yeah, yeah. But I it was like that. all. Wait, wait, so he had this in the second monitor and everyone saw it. Yeah. Yes. And then he went on this whole apology stream where his yeah. fucking wife is in the back crying, mm. dude. Oh. Like, and he's like, I, I was just like on Pornhub, like. Two in the morning, and I saw ad for it, and I just clicked it, man. And like, I, I, I just clicked it. I'm sorry. We all know he didn't click an ad. Like, if he apparently he had to buy that shit to watch. Uh, oh boy, that's bad. That's so that's weird, so dude. So bad. Dude. But that also opens a whole dark door of of deep fake of shit deep fake shit because obviously we're pro sex work. Do what you got to do. We we support Hell you, yeah. but. There the are wife. people who are not making sexual content in any means that are getting deep that are being sexualized with this. Yeah, that's gonna, shit. that's gonna, and it's that's fucking terrifying. That's they're, they're, gonna, that's, gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna, really there's gonna be some sort of law. At totally, some, uh, there some has point, to be. By the end of this year, there's gonna be some sort of fucking law about making that shit. And like, absolutely, there's gonna be a lot of laws. Dude, there's that, gonna be a lot of laws against AI at some point. Yeah, dude, because that dives into a whole realm of like even like consent. Like you're not yeah, consenting to that, totally. dude. Like so, it's like you are being sexualized. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be deep faked. Yeah, nobody wants to be deep faked. I think if I was nah. deep faked, like me getting fucked, I would think it was kind of funny. And <laughs> if you were, <laughs> if <I was> that's <laughs> different. If I was deep faked with just a huge cock, I'd, I'd be like, that's not. Yeah, that's deep me. fake like a couple inches into my pants. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Then I'd be then I would be Dude. posting that on my Twitter and be like, oh, I can't believe somebody did this. I'm so sad. I can't believe someone leaked this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you- <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you're literally leaking it. <laughs> I can't believe someone's like, bro, you tweeted this. <laughs> I also saw some shit where you can literally make an AI version of your voice. Yeah, you can, well that's you what- don't even have to talk to make a video. You what? just type in, I want myself saying this. Just, how does it know, does, yeah, what know, know what you sound like? like? Basically, you probably like record yourself saying a bunch of things, yeah, and then you have to to some. Yeah, you got to record capacity. yourself saying something. Yeah, that's yeah, how they're sure. doing the whole shit with like yeah. all these other famous people. Is they just take audio from anything that they've been on and they put it in, and then, yeah, I have a billion what the dollar idea. Hell, dude. We need to make. An AI translator for the maybe voice. Oh my god, that would be so the funny. maybe AI. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> it's just it. Normal sentences. They're just like, "Hey, how are you?" And it just translates. Hey, how are you doing, baby? I think hey, I saved the link. Doing, the tic- I saw a TikTok that was like the seven craziest AI things that I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that, or was it the voice like the seven craziest AI things that I've seen? <laughs> nah, it's just a dude talking. Oh, okay. Or was it? I don't know. It could have been. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Dude, but that I opens don't believe all- anything anymore. Dude. I don't. It's been, obviously, the technology has seemingly been there for a minute. Because how could they just do all this shit at once? But mm-hmm. yeah, it's happening quick, dude. Dude, see, there's there's two sides of this. There's those people who are just like fucking opening a dark door, like you said, for all the the, the yeah. porn deepfakes. And then there's other people like uh, what's his name? Uh, he he was an engineer that did the uh, Amazon Alexa. Have you Javier Sanchez? He made an app called Meow Talk where you can translate where he's he's working on it. You can translate the meows of what cats intend what? because it's been scientifically proven that that cats have eight different intents when they meow. Huh. Huh. The fuck? Dude, Meow Talk, why didn't he call it pussy pronunciation? Ooh. <laughs> Yo, that's clean. Come I, on. I, I, I like just pussy talk too. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did too. Plus plus but at the same time, I'm the only one here with a cat, right? No, you have a cat. All well, my roommates have a cat. Oh, like that means you have a cat. That means when when cat. when Karma goes meow, like I know it means fuck off, stop. Like I don't need a meow talk app, you know. But yeah. I think like that's kind of cool, like that part yeah. of the, the yeah. AI shit. I think the yeah. beauty of communicating with animals is how you can use your tone to communicate. Yeah. 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 Would it would it, would you like to be like how like in the wild thornberries where you can literally like talk to animals? Would you ever want to live in a world where you could actually mm-hmm. speak to animals? One hundred thousand percent. Why not, Sam? Why, why not? not? Because I'm gonna hear Kiba having a manic episode twenty four seven in his <laughs> in English. He's gonna be the little thornberry. <laughs> 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 Me and Samantha like to imagine what our dogs would sound like if they could t- if they could talk. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Just like kind of like imagining what your pets would sound like if you did. I feel like Kibo would talk. sound like Tweak from South Park. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Tweak, yeah. Lucy would be like a British woman or something. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Karma would be Scar from The Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Run away and never return. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Karma would be, did you watch Big Mouth? Yeah. You know, the, the girl hormone monster? Let me take a bubble bite. Okay. Yeah. That's, what That's a good like. one, too. That's, yeah. like. That's what Carmen would sound like. But, uh, Maya Rudolph, right? Is that who it is? 100% yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. AI, man. You guys want to keep talking about AI or you want to pivot for a sec? Now you have to go watch The Matrix because I know you haven't. Wait. Yeah, I have. When? I watched The Matrix when I was really high at someone's house. Oh my god, that doesn't count. And they were playing dubstep. Dude, no, that's that what counts. that's what when it counts, bro. Fun, real quick thing about The Matrix. Up until I was probably like, I was like twenty. It was twenty one when this specific thing happened. But up until then, I'd seen The Matrix so many goddamn times, yeah. especially when I was younger. Mm-hmm. But I wanted, to, I just liked it because it was like the action was cool, you know. And I was, I didn't really yeah. get the whole concept behind it. Yeah. But I specifically remember it was after it was after we played one of the fucking uh, Queen Mary shows. Oh god! Yeah. And like the night before, <laughs> I had gotten like super drunk or something, and so uh-huh. I didn't want to drink. And then everyone was partying afterwards. I was like, I don't want to fucking drink. I was yeah. like, I was kind of still hungover. Still I was like, recovering. I, yeah, I was like, I just want to yeah. like, and we. Like Ben got us like rooms and shit to stay in. We were like, I was gonna say, is it the one where you stay? You actually stayed at the. Yeah, like Ben got us like two. He was like, I can either pay you or I can get you guys like two rooms to party in. We're like, oh, give us two rooms to party. Yeah, fuck. And so yeah, yeah, we're like twenty one. Bad deal in hindsight. (laughs) Yeah, when you're you're twenty one, twenty one, and in a band, and fucking girls are around and shit. You're like, Uh we're like, yeah, we want a room. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so uh, we like take the room and shit or, or or. Jordy also too like wasn't gonna he's like yeah I'll just go back to the room with you or whatever and a bunch of like Jordy's like fraternity brothers came to the show or whatever oh, too yeah. mm-hmm. I and, and like we went back to our room and we were able to like smoke in the room because there was like a window that just went outside <laughs> we're like fuck it and we literally just got stoned in our room and then we're, and we're like oh the Matrix is about to be on and it was and like I said I'd seen it like at least 20 times before this but that was the first time I actually like watched it watched attention. it and like Really mm-hmm. realized what articulated, was articulated, yes. Yeah. And yeah. I was you like, actually like and understood and, and, it. And, yeah. and all of us in the room had that same experience, which was a trip because everyone was like, because oh we all God. were, we yeah. all were just stoned and dead silent. No one, none of us talked, and we everyone we would just be like, Wait, <laughs> I never noticed <laughs> this before. And we yeah. were all like, What the fuck? Like, yeah. we're like, Dude, this yeah. could be happening. Like, yeah. like I, all I ever Holy pay attention man. to was like, pew, 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 and like, you know, shit like that, and the fucking. You know, fucking yeah. dodging bullets and shit but up until like yeah i was 21 I mm-hmm. just... see my experience with the matrix was a little different i was also 21 i had seen it when i was a kid but yeah, we talked about it and you hit the dubstep we talked about that before we yeah. did we yeah. did yeah oh five second recap the movie was on mute the homie was playing dubstep in the background every time a fight broke out the dubstep dropped i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> yep naturally but uh yeah um anyways uh I had a memory, like an actual memory, not like an Instagram memory or something like that. An actual memory come up in my head. You didn't have to specify, dude. <laughs> I, I feel like I had to. Uh, just today, of that, I want to see if you two remember this because mm-hmm. I think I'm pretty sure both of you were there. At least one of you guys were there. So, okay. remember we're in high school where you would always park with your truck. And so, so also, do real quick. For whatever reason, in high school, whenever we'd have a break, we'd all go out to like this, like the senior parking lot area or whatever. And just congregate, and we would just like congregate there. And Sam's truck was a big congregating thing because 
he would just open the yeah, open, like, open put the down latch, the hatch and like on there, literally we would all some of us would be sitting in the bed of the truck and we'd just be hanging out. But yeah. also right next to that, there was um a preschool. Oh yeah. Do you remember what I'm about to say? I do. Yeah. So maybe you weren't there, but you had to. Yeah, I do. Dude, I think, and I think we were both stoned as fuck when this happened. And we we go out there and we we're just like, like we had taken like hubby bars earlier that day or Ooh, something like that. Ah. We like walk out to Sam's like truck and like I think it was yeah I think it was just me and you because we got out there early for whatever reason and we're sitting we like put down like we were just like put down the hatch of Sam's truck. We were just we were just sitting there and we we're just like like stoned or whatever. And I like look over and when there's like, these preschoolers like planks. And there's like a little preschool playground right but there. But it, it's there's like a there's like a there's like a, I wouldn't say a cage. It's like a fence. Yeah, there's like a fence around it. Oh, yeah, the, so they could yeah. run out into the parking lot and yeah. die or whatever. Yeah. But the, it, it looks like a cage because they come up to it and they're like, <laughs> like they can't get out. Yeah, yeah. walkers, yeah, 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 yeah. walkers. And yeah. so yeah, it, it, and they're just like out there like doing their thing and like. This one kid like had a shovel or something, and he's like, "Yeah, playing with it." And the other kid comes up to me like, "Hey, that's my shovel." And the kid's like, "No, this is mine, not yours." Next thing you know, they're fucking throwing hands, <laughs> and me and Eddie are sitting there. We're like, uh, "No, <laughs> like what?" And it just was like, we it call was, and then like other ki- kids started jumping in, and like they just started scrapping, and we were like, "Yo, this is like a wasn't f- it a good fight?" Yeah, dude. It was Homie like, had a shovel, dude. He, dude, yeah, and dude. And the yeah. One you know, it was like a hand shovel a little bit, yeah. but he fucking hit the other kid in the head. We were like, dude, this is like a prison yard fight, but yeah, like preschool, like preschool with, prison the cages yard. there and everything. And we yeah. were just like, what the fuck? Anyways, I just thought about that didn't, randomly the other day. Well, I started oh cracking God. up because didn't someone, say, didn't one of them say something to you? No, they said no. I think they're like, "Help me, help me out here!" No, no, <laughs> no one was talking shit. Dude, dead ass. It, yeah, well, yeah. Because I remember right when it started, me and Eddie were just kind of watching, and like we were like, "Wait, is this about to happen?" And one of them like said something to the other one, like <sighs> kind of like. But it's preschool terms, but yeah. like in old terms, like "What up, bro?" Like you know. But in preschool, they're like, "Oh my god!" Whatever the <laughs> yeah. kid said, we're like, Yo, "Hey, man!" Yeah, yeah. Whatever the kid said, we were like, "Wait, what?" And then they started going, and I think like I was just like, "Get him!" Like some shit like that. And I was like, "Yeah!" Like I was like, "Yo!" Like I, I don't know what I said, but I said something. Like, oh my god! And then like, and he just started like, we were just like, "Yo!" And then like. The teachers came and broke it up, or whatever, but we were just like, "Yo, yeah, this is some preschool beef we just witnessed right now." And like, was the shovel used in the fight? Yeah, the he kid whopped him with. Well, yeah, that's how it started. The no kid was like, shit. My, he's yeah. like, it was like it wasn't like a metal. It was like okay. a little. Yeah, it's not like a horse. shovel. No, it was like yeah. a little, shovel. like a little, like wood like, pole, like like, like the plastic, plastic one. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Like, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. But he just still, the kid was like. I want the shovel. Kids for some, no, for some yeah, reason, just, I was imagining like one of the shovels that like Joe from you would use to wax. Oh my god! No, no, not no, like that. No, no. Dude. Uh, no, no, it wasn't a fucking murder scene. It was a preschool. <laughs> dude. Was, Speaking of which, if, are you guys watching the new season? Yeah, have you? <laughs> it's fucking terrible. You don't like it? I like it. I've heard mixed reviews. Eddie. Yeah, you like I it? feel like this is a show we could talk about because it's just like funny it. to make fun of Joe, even though you haven't watched it. I'm just, I've watched <laughs> the first two seasons. Do you care about spoilers? <laughs> no, not really. I'm picturing this preschooler with the shovel, just like with the Joe voice, <laughs> just <laughs> fucking hello. <laughs> <you>. <laughs> oh my god! You well, then my favorite, not, <laughs> my, favorite, like, like, my, <laughs> my favorite, like Joe thing that we do now in Discord is because from in, like the first season, or whatever, when like he's like. <clears throat> kind of like stalking her and like daydreaming, and then he just like nuts in his pants or whatever. Oh, yeah. oh. And so now our friend Dabsky or whatever, he all the time he's just like he's just like oh like he just jowed and like so we're like oh like <laughs> oh so if like so yeah, one if of us you just, jowed, that means you busted. Your yeah. Mind. So That's like fine. yeah, and so like you know, I mean, every once in a while, one of us will go into the VC and I'll be like oh yeah, like. I'm gonna go hang out with some girl or whatever, and Dabsky will be like, "Just don't Joe, <laughs> like, just don't Joe, <laughs> like don't don't do a Joe." It's don't just, it's, fucking uh, Joe. It's just funny, dude. Like, not only does he do, he like straight up like jerks off like in in the park, like lot. like not yeah. even that. Like I think in like in the first episode, of the first season, he's like standing outside of like. Beck's fucking house, like straight up, just on the sidewalk yeah, in New York, just yeah. fucking busting. He's there every fucking day, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He like knows like the mailman. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of disappointed with how it's going. Yeah. Not disappointed because no one watches you to be like, hey, this is the most revolutionary piece of television oh, of I've ever not. seen. They want to see it because they just want to see it. I won't say I'm dis- spoilers. I won't say I'm disappointed. I will say that it does seem like this season they're just like let's Fuck it. let's do what Dexter did, like it, yeah. it's it's, it's make, just it, it's it a feels like Dexter now. 
all of season four is basically a who done it of who's the murderer. It's not even Joe. The you that he's focusing on is the killer. Like, yeah. And well, wait, we haven't even finished part two. Yeah, it's yet, not in part two. So well, yeah, can't really. I, I, the first couple episodes, I'm like, they're setting up this who done it murder mystery. I'm like, this is kind of sick. And then as it progresses, like. He's basically a- caught, but they just are not. But they're like, "Oh no, you're good." Like, because the mur- the murderer is trying to frame people, right? And the love interest this season, Joe walks in on her over one of her friend's dead body, mm-hmm. and he's like, "And spoiler alert, it wasn't her. She was being framed, just like Joe was almost framed." Mm-hmm. Gotcha. But he's like, he walks in her. He's like. We gotta move the body because people are gonna think you did this. And she is, mind you, she's not a murderer. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's just like, you know what? Let's move this fucking body. You're right. Yeah, but then she does confront him, being like, "How do you? How? Why are you so good at this?" Yeah, but after she confronts him, she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, what does that say about her? You know what I mean? I haven't watched it. And I don't. I, I'm sort of following what you're saying, but maybe she just like doesn't give a fuck because she's like, ah, if I give a fuck, maybe I'm gonna be next. Mm. Ah. She I loves really him, dude. Him. Well, yeah. I, dude, I see. I, How do I, you know that? This I don't know the context. Loves him. I don't know the context at all. I God haven't watched dude. it at all. I didn't even watch season three. But you have a dude, season three is really good. I mean, no, yeah. season three is really good. No, everyone says everyone. I've heard well, the only season I've heard mixed reviews on now is this new one. Well, yeah, so. because they're just doing it. They're putting out one half and then the next half. I think this is going to be the last season of it. I think. Nah, they need one more. So. They need it by the end of this season. He needs to be exposed in London. And then he goes back to the States for the final Cause season. Because why would they bring in Marianne and just like keep that Dude, in the that back pocket Dude, that was such bullshit. Like that whole first thing with her. I I wanted, I want her to be the. But also person. realistically, that's what would happen. They did that she intentionally. Would be, she I feel would be like, terrified I of I feel her. like that's, uh, that she, that, that they're going to bring that back. Like that's what no, I'm saying. There's no way that that. that but there's no gonna, logical thing where she's going to forgive him. Like, no, I'm not saying that she should forgive but him. She'll but, but, but she'll be a part of But she'll be like, they'll bring her back in and that's probably how he'll get exposed. Um. Yeah, you have a trend where you'll get into a show. This is one example. Handmaid's Tale is another example where you do like the last season or the penultimate season. You're just like, it's fucking trash. Like, I feel like Han- your expectations with the show are just like Handmaid's I mean, oh, Tale look, look. became garbage. Like, I could see the just that show is. Bomb. I can see the justification for season four of you being good. Like, I could be like, oh yeah, I see why you like that. Handmaid's Tale is terrible. How like, is it terrible? She's a fucking secret agent hunting down what's her name? Like, but it comes full circle because I now, never finished season five. Okay, so. never mind. I don't. You can spoil it. I don't want to. Okay. I want to stop talking about shows because Ryan's bored. <laughs> because Ryan um, Ryan pulled out his phone. That's I was not a good uh, speaking of shows that Ryan wouldn't be bored of. Oh he played a show. This yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. How's your show? Uh, I, I was like, show Friday. It was, it was good. Cool. It was good. It's good. But there's one moment from his show that I want to mention. I don't know if you you know what I'm talking about. What? 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 what, what? <laughs> the second it happened, I looked at Samantha and I was like. I'm talking about this on Sunday. What? Wait, 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 wait. So, I want Ryan's playing a show. He's doing his thing. Ryan's the vocalist. If you don't know, uh, he's screaming. Doing I mean, his 37 thing. episodes. Oh, in I think I know what you're gonna fucking talk. Oh, you're- and there's this girl like who's standing right in front of the stage. Like she's ro- she's vibing. She, she's, she's rocking out. Yeah, she's rocking out. And oh. she did this thing where she like Did she get clock reached for the mic. Oh. And. Typically, when you do that, it's like you want to say the band's lyrics that you know, right, or something like that. Yeah. You're a fan. Yes. <laughs> this girl grabs the mic and Ryan. I swear her to face. God, this is this is what she said. This is what she screamed. Hold this for a sec. Okay, I'm holding it. Am I gonna be giving you the mic or something? No, or? I just I just don't want to be loud. Okay. She literally just goes. Ah! <laughs> she didn't scream the lyrics of the song. <laughs> she just yelled, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought what that was, was so your funny. reaction? He was just like, okay. <laughs> My reaction was, okay. I went, I, did, I went, I was, she, cause she, she like just, she like kind of gestured. And I, so I looked, man, I, I was like, okay, maybe she knows where it's cool. And so I, I just went like that. She did, ah. And then after that, I just kind of, I literally, as she did it, as she did it, I just went, <laughs> I literally just like looked around. I think I looked over like at like you and Samantha because you guys were all off to the right, and I just looked over you. I was and, dying. Yeah, and yeah, they were just. <laughs> I just saw people laughing, and I just was like, "Okay, wait, I can't just like be because my you, face for sure." I think first, you specifically turned away to yeah, not laugh. Yeah, for yeah, my face for a second was you. was like, "Oh my god, that happened!" And then I just yeah, I literally just yeah. turned around because I just was like, "I can't." 
keep it together and I just kind of like, <laughs> and I just kind of like and I just got back into it but like for a second I was like oh my god I'm gonna make a face of like what the fuck and I just don't want to Dude the like, funniest you know. thing I see at shows sometimes is when somebody is pretending to know the words to a song that they don't know and I think the term for it is called breadcrumbing or breadcrumbs or something like that I don't know mm. I don't know it's a good term. Yeah, like it's that. pretty funny. See like, what I do at shows? I just stand there. Yeah. Give me. I just fucking mean mug the whole time. Mean <laughs> yeah. The impress me, bro. I don't move. Yeah. I mug. I um. It's a weird venue though. T- huh? It's kind of. It's, it's like a trip. Dude. Yeah. It's Where a, was it's, it? It's, it's, it's called. It's called FTG. It's uh. Oh. It's just like a trip. So you remember how they used to have a lockout space back in the day where they would practice? Are you asking me? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I remember that. You know it's, how like the w- lockout space next to them was like those trippy dudes in the psychedelic band. Yeah. They have the all ones the, are doing acid all the time. Yeah. The I neon like the things one. on the fucking walls, the yeah. paintings, the lights. It looked like a big version of that. Yeah. So it was cool. So you know who runs that place? Some of the dudes from Mounds of Earth. Oh. So yeah, it's, they're, and, they're, and they're all trippy dudes, and so like it cool. looks, it literally looks like what our lockout used to look like with time all the shit. Four. I was about it to say, cool. like, didn't you share a lockout with that band? No, they they were in the same like Wait, building. Is Mounds, Mounds of Earth like like Adam and like Jonathan? No, no, okay. no, no. But you, I've shown them. They're just like this instrumental band, and they're just like yeah. Trip. But they were in that lockout, same lockout space <laughs> with us for. I think school. didn't they play uh, at Chain with like yeah yeah uh, also yeah. at Mayfair that one yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we. we we met them through Jordan because like Jordan was friends with some of them. That's and, like, right. It, it's where like that connection kind of came in. Yeah. And then I think mm-hmm. even too like Cameron and one of their guitar players like worked together at a studio for yeah. a bit. And, like, they, yeah. He was like co-producing some band. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 something yeah, like that. I, yeah, so. I want to say something about it. I also don't want to open the door where we talk about this all, all the time. Right, go ahead. I played a show once in a lockout space. Oh yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I you just don't like. To, I mean, I wasn't there, but I, I just don't like to talk it. about ma- how I used to make music. I just don't like it. Why not? Because mm-hmm. I don't think it's good. Oh, fair I'm enough. sorry. Like when know. I was making it, I was like, "This is fire," and then now I'm looking back, I'm like, mm. <laughs> "Yeah, I'm okay." <laughs> I um, I missed the Whitney Cummings show. Oh, you didn't oh, go? Yeah, I got dude, food poison, dude. Yeah, oh, no, fucking, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, what it's, happened? I I just had like late. Not late, like a day old sushi, which I've done before. Oh, yeah. that's Ooh. not good. Yeah, I've done it before, but it it ruined my day, and I unfortunately missed it. But um, I did. On a brighter note, I did see my first Broadway show. Oh wow, what really? was it? That was tight. Um, Frozen, like based off the, the Disney Broadway? film. Yeah, Wait, it's a Broadway fucking show, dude. If it's not on Broadway, is it still considered a Broadway show? Yes, yeah, it's even if it's not because, on Broadway, because Wicked. It's a Broadway show. Okay. And they came here to... Same with The Lion King. Costa Mesa. Yeah, but... The, but I'm, I'm seeing but The Lion King. But it's called... <clears throat> it's on Broadway because it's literally at the theater I think on it's, Broadway. It's known to whatever. be on Broadway and then they yeah. go on tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's, yeah, 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 it, yeah. I think it's a, like a marketing thing. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, creation it's Broadway. of Broadway. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Like um, The Book of Mormon. Yeah, like, yeah, that's That's another one. Um, But yo, I was like tearing up in that show. I was good. feeling some feels. It was fucking good. Nice. It was really good. Highly recommend. Was it at the, and we can, uh, Seagersham. Yeah, I was just about to say. It was four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me and Samantha for Christmas got both of our mom's tickets to go to the Lion King with us. Okay. Nice. It's a cool little night idea. Oh, I've always wanted to see that. But, man. I mean, I'm excited, but also, I know all the spoilers. I yeah. know what's gonna it's happen. It's different, but it's though. different because hey, of edible. Before. Yes, I don't know, dude. Yeah, Samantha, I know you're not gonna watch this, but bro, you're, you're driving. You <laughs> will, you will transcend. Like I don't know how to explain. I don't know to if you. edibles the vibe for hanging out with our mothers. No, but listen, your expect <laughs> your <laughs> expectations. Edibles and your mom has fucking been there before. You're, well, your Did we ever talk about that? I'll go on with this. Talk about what? The whole, the ducks game thing. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your expectations are, oh, I've seen the movie. I know what happens. Me too. When I went to Frozen, dude, I was still blown away. You saw Frozen? Yeah, I was just saying I did. My first Broadway show. The movie? Yeah. No, the movie. The cartoon. Of course I have. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? It's a good one. I've actually never seen that one. I think I was in my 20s. It's a good one. Frozen 2 slaps. Mm. It's so good, dude. I worked at Party City when Frozen came out. So that was like a big deal. But yeah, you probably it. slang an Elsa. And I was slanging Elsa plates all day. Yeah, Kristoff. <laughs> I was slanging Kristoff streamers. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. We're slanging Sven Pinyon. I was like, no other. 
You know what's crazy? What's mm. crazy? How we all have like nice jobs that like are better than the shitty jobs we, we worked in the past. True. What did you think ten years ago? What you would be doing for this a is living? actually interesting because Jordan actually asked me asked me on Thursday last day I worked. He was like, "What do you think you'd be doing right now if you weren't doing like electrical like work?" And I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "I've never thought about that honestly because I I just haven't had to think about that in so long." But I don't know. What do you think you'd be doing? Jerking off. <laughs> no, be serious for a second. I don't know because, I mean, no one from my work's gonna watch this, right? Well, Why are you asking me? I don't yeah, know. No, as long as you I don't, mean, I don't com- I'm not passionate about my job, so it's like, I don't know if I'm at a point where I'm looking like, oh, if I wasn't doing this, like, it's not my dream job, so it's like, mm-hmm. I'm, I still want to get to something that I love eventually. Okay, Which is what. <laughs> Jerking off. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> jerking off. I was laughing because I'm never going to say that I shit. I mean, let's be real, dude. My YouTube's going to blow up in the matter of a year or two, and I'm going to be fucking famous. So There you go. That'd Fuck be it. lit. There 20 years ago, I thought I was going to be a writer or a film producer. Ha ha. 10 years ago. You still can. Thank you. 10 years ago, I don't know. I, I, I thought I was going to be a doctor. Ha ha. Never thought I'd. I thought 10 years ago, you were like, Dota's going to take me far. Well, that see, I had that on the side too, because I was like, this has a lot of potential, but it's like super competitive. Also, I'm killing myself. Like I'm here every day, uh, uh, hours on end. Oh, I thought you were saying like that's what you envision in ten years. I'm killing myself. I was like, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> like Jesus, no, 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 <laughs> no. For context, I was like eating and staying at home and just playing this game religiously before yeah. it became esports. So yeah. that's what I meant. By yeah. that. sorry, I forgot the question was what did you envision ten years ago? Honestly, making videos because yeah. when we were younger, we would make stupid I was gonna ass say, little videos. Made that Twitter video like ten years ago. You definitely thought that you'd be something like that, like just making content. I mean, you're still doing the thing you, you are. Love. It might not be like hey, a career right now, but you're still you're doing, still doing it. it. I mean, it's not a job, but I got five point five million views in the past ninety days. So there you go. on your YouTube, good, man. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Fucking it's all yeah. short videos, but I mean, still pretty cool. Oh, yeah. so how does lot, that though. work? If you get, if you get that many views on a short, are you compensated? You need to get ten no. million no, views you have- on shorts. You need ten million views in the matter of ninety days. Yeah. So previously, to become a YouTube partner, to be monetized, you need a thousand subscribers, and then four thousand watch hours on your videos. So. Previously, shorts did not count towards that. So I would get all these shorts views, and then. I would still be like, so you could have a short that's popping off, but if you don't have the threshold for subs, yeah, yeah, that's like, kind of whack. <clears throat> like, like I, I just got a, I got, a, I got like a newsletter from YouTube a little while ago, and I just reached over forty thousand uh, watch hours. Hmm. Uh, that's a lot. It's yeah, a lot. Yeah. And I don't. And I only have like three. So if you get the thousand subs, then then you. But I only have three hundred like subscribers. Though. Yeah, Fair subscribe to Billy's YouTube. You fucking pussy ass bitches. <laughs> well, don't tell but, them uh, that. No, they don't. You nice them. people. There you go. There you go. Talk. To but them. uh, they added a requirement now. It can be it's a thousand subscribers, the four thousand watch hours, or ten million shorts views in ninety days. Wow. So if I'm Bono. And I make okay. a YouTube account. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I have hello. 20, I'm, I'm I've got twenty five subscribers. I've got a short that's popping off, but mm-hmm. I don't have the threshold. I'm not going to be partnered, even though I'm Bono. Yes. Correct. I mean, I, mean I imagine he would get a thousand. He, subscribers he would get quick. a thousand subscribers in like. One well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. You could be like a a person that's in the know and yeah. still not meet the requirements. Huh. Well, someone like that, they're yeah, someone like that, they just have the tweet. I made a YouTube follow me, and and they'll have like, dude, that's like when Jennifer Aniston made an Instagram. She reached like one million followers in less than like. I was hoping you were gonna say OnlyFans. I was like, that was my childhood (laughs) dream. That would break the fucking internet. Like (laughs) for real, would break the internet. No, if Jennifer Aniston made OnlyFans, oh my god, that I'd be like, babe, I know we're married, but I'm I'm subscribing. Sorry, (laughs) she'd probably be like, let me see that shit. She would. What we talking about before all this? Jerking well, off. What, 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 what would what would we be doing? Yeah. You were yeah. I mean, jerking off. Yeah, I'm still. I mean, I'm still doing music. Like I said, I'm not. It's not a. Career, I thought you were going to be done from, with music for good after Otsoa. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought so too. But I think a lot of it just you know it, it was. I, I had a lot more once. Uh, once on the shoulders finished, it was like you know I had a lot of other shit going on in my life. Yeah. So yeah, like you were like yeah yeah like you know I was like 
addiction really started kicking in. Yeah. So that's why I was, you know, that's also a big part of why it ended. It was like, not because, not, not cause of that, yeah. but it was just so like, everyone else was like, yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits. And like, yeah, they're like, you know, Jordy was like, I got a big boy job now, whatever, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah. Justin was in fucking Portland yeah. flying down right. for shows. Right. Cameron right. was like actually making money doing recording. So it was right. all the pieces were kind of coming to, we're like, maybe we do got to call it quits. And I was focusing a lot on my job that I have now, but also too, part of me was like, Okay, yeah, I also have this other fucking thing that they don't, nobody knew about it at the time. Yeah. I was like, I also have this other fucking problem that no one knows about that I need to get fucking handled. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I really can't even be focusing on music. So, Mm -hmm. but then once I got a fucking grip on that, it was all like perfect timing because then Minju was like, well, I'm doing this and I need a vocalist now. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing drugs anymore. So, yeah, I I, I think I I can can scream. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, I think, yeah, I was just like, let me see if I can, ah, got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, fuck it. I'll keep doing it. You actually want to say something serious. Hmm. Oh, if there's someone out there who's like maybe younger and like they have like a big dream like that they're doing, this is this is real as fuck. Like this is real life advice. It does not have to necessarily be your job for you to do it. And yes, to be hundred percent, hundred percent. So, like for example, like you make music. Are you touring the world, making millions of dollars? No. Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I make videos. I'm not making money off it or anything. Do I like it? But you love yeah. it, and that's all that you matters. play Dota. To this day, still, <laughs> you're fucking, fucking cracked. T- 20 years or fucking whatever. Do you, love, yeah. do you love it still? Yeah. We all have jobs that help us support yes, our lifestyles that's, that's to be able the, to that, do that's the biggest what thing, we love. Yes. That's well, the done, biggest, Sam. No, that's seriously. The, that's the biggest, yes. Yeah. That is the biggest thing is you may fucking hate your job, but it's like, but if you have some, if you're doing something else you love, it's like, think Chase about it. Chase it. It's like, well, well, that and you so can still stop. do it. It doesn't, you don't yeah. have to make money. But also it, too, it's like your job is also helping you support so, doing yeah. that fucking thing. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't be able to do music if I didn't have any fucking source of income. Exactly. Also, you if know? you're doing something where you're like, I want to make videos to make money, then that's the goal. That's not going to happen. It's not going to work out to begin with because yeah. you don't even love doing it. So yeah. Yeah. I was making fucking YouTube prank call videos in seventh grade. Were you, did you want to be a fucking TikToker and you're fucking five? No, you no. didn't. Nah. Yeah. Look at, um, look at what's his name from Blink-182. He was passionate about aliens and shit. UFOs are crashing <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Fucking how we're not he talking about right, that shit. Dude. Holy dude, shit. Dude, yeah. Tom DeLong. I feel like right. also too real He's quick. like an advisor for that stuff now. Yeah. Sorry. The, no, I feel like kind of on the serious shit, but kind of not too. It's like, bro, I feel like the last two weeks, there's been a huge just shift yeah. in the world with like the UFO sightings, all those fucking trains that have been de- derailed with like toxic chemicals and like a and radius shit. of three miles. Dude, that shit was on purpose, dude. Yo. Uh, but it's fucking wa- all that. That shit, shit was. I feel like there's something going on. We're like, okay, what the fuck is happening? Right yeah, now? like it's just yeah. World War Three's coming, dude. Don't say that. Yeah. I don't know if World War Three is coming, but it's, it's just some. I feel like just some shit has been just like popping off recently that's like been like okay dude what the fuck i feel like so far 2023 has been a pretty solid year up until like these past just like couple weeks it's been like okay what's happening I, like we had a good start yeah what's going on here and despite all the crazy craziness in the world and all this crazy shit happening you're still here <laughs> and you made it all the way through an entire episode of junior high hot box <laughs> so if you are still here after all that time Go ahead and fuck the shit out of that like button. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Yeah, any final thoughts, guys? Um, when's your next album coming out? For what? For uh, the Slim Shady Part Three or <laughs> Relapse Volume Four? I like it. Okay. I like it too. I like it. I, I like just, it. I, love I, just, it. I gotta slag you, dude. Come fuck on. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not gonna slag you. It's like me, bro. I shaved my fucking head. Everyone yeah. still is like, Ooh, yeah. So yeah I really called you a dude, microphone dude. before no, the dude. Recording. You look That's like me. the singer August Burns Red with how your hair is. Or now. the fucking yeah. Or the vocalist of Era. Or him too, yeah. yeah. Or any bald person that's ever lived. <laughs> or any bald guy with a beard that when screams. you when you wear a beanie, you look like the singer. You like still look like a, a yeah, level three yeah. RuneScape bot. We'll throw up up here. But. <laughs> cool. Well, as always, we are on YouTube. If you're here, right, I mean, you might not be on YouTube, but we're on YouTube, Spotify, Spotify Apple Music, Apple Podcasts. Podcast. God, I keep doing that. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. Uh, where else are we? Instagram. Yeah. Instagram's Twitter. where you're going to get the clips, dude. Yeah, we're on TikTok. Clips. We're on everything. Yeah. If you we have a link to everything below. Yeah. So, yeah. That's all I got. I look up for open AI, maybe. Yeah. Maybe next episode, we'll just do a full AI. It won't even be us. 
<laughs> It'll just <laughs> that would be sick. that'd be fucking that, crazy. We should do, dude. Yo, dude. We should go on the chat GPT. That. No, next up, this is what we should do this this week. Go on chat GPT. Look out for JHH GPT. Yeah, next. Dude, and we dude. just read lines. Let's just have chat GPT write us for a whole next episode, bro, or at least a segment of it. I'm gonna shit holy fuck. Oh, yes, yeah, please yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna. Oh do that my episode. god, that's gonna be wild. Peace. All right, Bye. later.